The problem with Donald Trump using this is, is twofold. One is that when you're the actual president of the world's largest superpower with a massive nuclear arsenal, using Twitter is an extremely dangerous venue because it inherently has all kinds of ambiguities and possibilities for being misunderstood and for misleading people into what your actual intentions are. And that has happened over and over, where so many of his tweets are not even susceptible to reason discourse where you don't even know what he means. And, and when a president is issuing those kinds of ambiguous statements, those are the kinds of things that can ratchet up tensions unintentionally and even spark wars. But I think there's another sort of more pernicious aspect to it, which is what Trump is doing, is he's trying to discredit every single source of information other than Donald Trump. So he's telling his followers, don't listen to the American media because they're liars. He's telling them, don't listen to the intelligence community because they defrauded you with Iraq. He's telling them, don't listen to experts because these experts are all corrupted and they're part of the D.C. swamp that he wants to drain. The only truth that you should trust comes from me, Donald Trump. And, and that is a very dangerous framework. It's, it's pure authoritarianism when a political leader also becomes the only source of information that the population trusts. But unfortunately, his biggest allies in that are media outlets who have done the kinds of things that I just explained The Washington Post having done and journalists having helped them. They're the reason why people are losing faith in American media outlets. And that's what gives space to a demagogue like Donald Trump to say, I'm the only person who you can trust. And his use of Twitter is really a, a weapon, a powerful weapon in, in achieving that dangerous state of affairs.